Hi there, welcome back to the shop. It is a windy afternoon in the spring and I have a model that I need to finish up for a friend in my club. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you how to use the Dubro motor mounts. The motor mount packaging is pretty simple. It's a blister pack. You just cut it straight open. And what you're left with is some brackets, some aluminum brackets and uh, a little pouch of hardware here <laughs> and inside of the mounts are these elastomers and uh, bu basically rubber bushings. So these are designed to be replaceable, designed to be expendable. What I highly suggest you start doing is simply removing them from the mounts. All right, so after you have them removed from the mount, you want to make sure that you are setting your engine and your particular application to the correct depth for your model. And usually in the instructions, this is done by measuring the point from the base all the way to the tip of the prop hub. In the case of our Dubro mount, we wanna make sure that we also account for the bushings, which is roughly an additional five millimeters. In my application, I use little clamps to hold the engine to the mount and then just use the pencil to color down the holes of my engine and make a mark. From there, I use a nail to tap a centering hole for the drill bit. Now to drill these out uh, can be kind of tricky for the first person if you're not used to metal working. I highly recommend that you consult some training on this or a friend, but the best thing I can tell you to do in a short video like this is to invest in a clamp. Use a clamp so that you can secure your aluminum part very sturdy and it's not gonna wobble or go anywhere. From there, you can use a hand drill. I prefer to go straight down when I'm metal working because you wanna use lubricant. Use three in one household oil or other machining oil while you're drilling so that it doesn't dull your bit and so it'll also help your bit from wandering. Uh, I personally have a drill press and I use my drill press, uh, but a hand drill can be done if you do this carefully and methodically. So after you've done all that initial drilling with the metal work, you're gonna to want to go ahead and clean off the aluminum mounts. Uh, you can do this with soap and water, make sure that you apply a little bit of that machine oil back to it uh, just to, to help keep things fairly lubricated. Now you, your method of fastening the motor to the mounts is your choice. It can be just through bolts and then use nuts on the bottom, or you can drill small and then drill and tap the, uh, the holes in the mount. That's up to you. Uh, there's not really a wrong way to do it as long as you do it in a safe way. But after that, that's where it's important to make sure that you wash your hands and make sure the, the part is clean so that you don't have any aluminum chips, any of the shavings from the drilling process. The reason is you don't want those chips to get into the elastomer and prematurely wear it out because it'll cut into the, the soft polymer that we're using. All right, so before you final install your elastomers, it's important to lubricate them as well. Dubro recommends that you lubricate them with castor oil or something equivalent to that. It's important to do this so that, again, your elastomers don't prematurely wear out. They will wear out over time and you should expect to replace them. This should be part of your annual inspection on your model. The next part you're gonna get into is installing the engine mounts themselves. This can be kind of tricky. It can kind of require some additional hands. Ask a friend if you need to, but make sure that if you're retrofitting these mounts onto a model, that you plug the holes with hardwood dowels and epoxy, uh, I also use thin CA uh, just to soak in and then do epoxy over top. You can easily incorporate this mount into a new model just by doing a, a, an X and uh, you know mount measuring, making sure that everything is centered. And also things get a little bit tricky when it comes to using a cowl as well. So from here, I'm gonna get my model out. I'm gonna let you guys come in a little bit closer and watch me while I try to install this engine into a new model for my club member. 
All right, so as you can see, uh, I've got a, my markings for center. There were some markings around the hole, so I was able to use a straight edge to uh, extend these lines so I know exactly where we're going here. So the first thing that I'm measuring is my horizontal marks. So with my gas engine application, my engine needs to be mounted upside down rather than sideways or right side up. So I am focusing on that at first. And so my center points that I made on my mounts gives me 6.1 millimeters. Okay, so next up is to measure the vertical distance. Just inserted the bushings here to uh, get a little more precise centering on these holes. Alright, so at this point I'm positioning through the sight hold down the bushings. I'm making sure that each one of my corner points is going to be right on the mark. And it sure enough it is. Metric never fails me. Alright, so now that I've got my holes filled and my marks marked off, I can go ahead and take a drill and drill things out. Now, I don't necessarily need a quarter inch drill bit for the supplied blind nuts, but I like to do that so that I can line up the blind nut very slightly in the hole. Just gives me a little bit of wiggle room. So underneath the firewall that you're seeing here, I do have another blind nut and it is pointing this direction so that these points can go into the plywood. And I've screwed on another blind nut here in order to help give some leverage to help suck that blind nut in. So with an Allen key, we're just going to tighten this to pull the blind nut back up into the firewall just until it's snug, doesn't have to be super tight. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the opposite hole. Okay, so now I am getting to the point where I need to start being careful. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna set this off to the side and make sure that all of my bolts are protruding up before I set this in place. Now remember, those blind nuts are loosely in place down there, so be gentle and try to thread them in place so that you don't push them out. You can put a little bit of CA in there, but in this particular model, it was almost impossible to do that. So there you go. All right, so that's the two. Now at this point, because I have those two corners in place, I'm not going to be rotating the engine much to begin with. So uh, I can use the elastomerics to uh, sort of wiggle the bolts around and get the last two blind nuts in place from the backside. So now the engine is mounted. It's, uh, it's ready for plumbing. It's ready for me to work on the cowl and have the dummy motor centered on the prop hub as well. If you take your time and you're methodical and careful, this won't be frustrating. It seems pretty complicated, but it's really not. You're talking about just a few holes to drill and about an hour worth of your time. For the rest of your model needs, make sure you check out dubro.com. And until next time, thanks so much for stopping by the shop.